We are at Hexham Swamp today, right next to Hunter Wetlands National Park, and we are out here looking for the Australasian bittern using a thermal drone. Hexham Swamp is a really important estuarine wetland right next to Newcastle. It's a really large area and it has freshwater elements. That's where we're looking for the bittern mostly. So it's estimated globally that there's around two and a half thousand Australasian bitterns, although that, that is just an estimate. They're found through New Zealand, Australia and up into New Caledonia. The Australasian bittern is quite a cryptic species. It tends to live in, in freshwater wetlands and swamps. Quite secretive, it doesn't tend to flush when you get close to it. So quite often, even if, if there's one in your vicinity, it, it will just stand extremely still and pretend that it's a post or a piece of grass and, and, and just sit there. So they are very hard to find. So community partnerships have been essential to running this project. Hunter Bird Observers Club are a really active organisation. They have a lot of volunteers, do a lot of surveys, and they're the ones that know where the bittern is in the Hunter and around Hexham. Today we're using a thermal imaging drone to try and identify the presence of bitterns here in the swamp. The benefit of the thermal camera is that the heat signature of a bird, which has a temperature of about 40 degrees, is really clear, very distinct, compared with the habitat surrounding the bird. We're looking for the bittern in amongst the reeds, so not out in the open so much as where it's more sheltered. When we see a bird, particularly if it's a bird the size of a bittern, which is 60 to 70 centimetres high, then they are really clear. So far this season, we've recorded Australasian bittern at one location on um, Hexham Swamp. We, we had two birds at one stage calling at that location. So without this project, we probably wouldn't have found those birds. We found them using acoustic monitors. They're remote devices that can be programmed to, to record at certain times of the day. The call of the Australasian bittern is very distinct. It's a, it's a deep, what's described as a boom. They, they often, and, a, and they do a boom train. So they'll often do two to two to four booms in a sequence and then have a, a quiet period of around two minutes before they'll do another boom train. It's a great project to be involved with. Uh, it's great getting out into these wetlands. They're, they're really a really unique environment. It's such a beautiful spot and it's so good to be able to do something while here that will support the, the study and conservation of, of a rare and endangered bird. The two main outcomes we're hoping for from the project are firstly to find out more about the Australasian bittern generally and in the hunter, and we also want to be able to protect the species into the future. We hope we can find as many birds out here as possible and as many territories as possible. At the moment, we've got one territory that we know of and we suspect there's a few more, but yeah, ho hopefully we can get out there and really nail down how many birds are using Hexham Swamp and the lower Hunter Estuary.